Hey everybody, what's going on today? I hope it's a great day for you. Uh, I know some of you probably were able to listen to Rob's teaching earlier today. I also caught most of it. And uh, it further moved me to want to give you something. Because he talked about, you know, we do things religiously and we're running around, you know, trying to do the right thing religiously. And I, I know I said this yesterday, um, you know, practice. Practicing is good. Practicing the things that you know you want to get better with. Not in an obsessive way not in a way that's going to be hurtful for yourself or anyone else but you know just just working on it working on yourself and i was thinking about how you know he talked about strategies for war and using uh, good strategies for war whether it's a, trying to achieve and really maybe it should be strategies for peace uh, you know, to achieve peace in your home, should you should you say certain things, should you not say certain things, can the person handle the truth or can they not handle the truth? You know, how do we how do we do it? And you know, even this is true in our spirituality or if we're going to shul or we're not going to shul, we're meeting with people, we're not meeting with people. You know, it's very, um, it takes a special place to find within yourself the areas of how to work this. So, you know, one of the strategies against the War of Gog and Magog, because the real War of Gog and Magog, I mean, he's, he's hit on it. You know, it's like, do I, do I become religious? Do I listen to this guy? Do I pay attention to this guy? Do I listen to this person? What do I do? And it's very difficult because, um, you know, sometimes the person that you think is your friend because they're wearing a strimal and they have seat seat and, you know, they're with you in the kosher restaurant or they're with you davening in shul you know, they may not be your friend. Sometimes, unfortunately, the Yetzirah, his his strategy in the War of Gog and Magog is to dress in a strimal or to have payas or to have, uh, you know, tzitzit and to have beautiful techelet in his tzitzit and to tell you all the right things. But be careful, he may be telling you in the wrong way. It may be the wrong time. You may not be ready for certain things. Go deep within yourself, everyone, to find those answers. Ask Hashem to help you. You know, I can't give you all the answers. Uh, I have the answers that I give from my own life. And that's what I have. I have people in my life who are going to judge me harshly if I'm late or if you know if I'm late for minion if I'm if I'm late for dinner if I'm and it's not my wife if I'm late for dinner but if I'm late for dinner if I'm late for an event they're going to look at me and they're going to say he's a bad person because he's late in the same way, the Yetzirahara is going to tell you, if you don't do it this way, you're a bad person. If you don't pray this way, you're a bad person. If you don't wear this type of shirt, you're a bad person. And this ties in with what I said yesterday. The material aspects, even, you know, are we using the right siddur? Are we using a siddur at all? Are we putting on our tefillin a certain way? Are we putting on tefillin at all? These are all the schemes of darkness. 
and they're very sinister and they will destroy us if we let it but we're not going to let it destroy us I'm not going to let it destroy me I may have to change the rules because I know I know the rules that work for me I know I'm late I'm late all the time it's just going to happen I'm slow physically I can't move the way everybody else moves I'm I'm slow and you know and sometimes depending on what it is that I'm going to I don't really care if I'm on time I've only had a few people in my life tell me that that was okay drawer was one of them you know and because and he actually said to me in such a way that made me believe what I already believed in myself which is my job to help people slow down and de-stress because I'm slow I'm not going to be in a hurry if I can help it. And yes, sometimes it's cost me some you know, a couple of times I lost jobs because I was late too many times or you know, or you know, how many times have I missed the morning Megilla reading because I was late for shul in the morning and so I didn't hear the Megilla in the morning. Yeah, it happens. There are consequences. But for the most part, I can accept the consequences. And or I'm not I'm not